As a greyhound owner, another important thing to look out for is the health of our dog's feet. Greyhounds can have a few small issues with their feet throughout their lifetime. Some of them don't suffer from this, but it's important that you know the signs to look out for. So it's important to be comfortable with looking at the feet at home. The easiest way to do this is to gently bend the wrist joint and he'll lift his foot for you. And here, we're looking at the pads of the feet. These are the squishy parts here. And for Romeo, this is totally normal. Things that we might be looking for that could show signs of disease would be cracked pads, or if I'm touching his pad, he's reacting, or if he's limping. That might be something that would be worth getting checked out. The other thing to look at is the length of his nails. So the best way to determine if your dog's nails need a clip is to gently pop the base of the foot on your palm. If I can feel the nails touching my skin, they often need a little trim, but Romeo's are perfect. If you can feel your dog's nails on your hand, like I described, or if you hear them scratching off the floor as he's pottering around the house, he might need a nail clip. Clipping a dog's nails can sometimes be a little bit intimidating for first time owners and your local vet or vet nurse will be very happy to do it with you the first few times to show you the right technique. What's important to note is that there is a blood vessel and nerve that runs down through each nail of the dog and we don't want to clip them too short because that will cause the animal pain. So my motto is always take a very small amount off. You can always take more, you can't put it back on for them. Generous skin health is really important for your dog. Uh, the skin is the largest organ in the body, so it's really important to note what to watch out for that might be an indication that we could be dealing with some skin issues. Loss of hair in patches or generally all over the dog. Redness of the skin. If he was itching his skin constantly, licking at his feet or scratching his belly, might be an indication that he's dealing with some underlying skin issues. Oftentimes, if they have skin parasites, which there's absolutely no evidence of Romeo having that, you might be able to see some bigger parasites, but some of them can't be seen with the naked eye and would need to be tested by your vet. Another important thing to do for our dogs is to monitor them for signs of arthritis as they age. This is a normal thing that can occur in any dog, but as we have these beautiful greyhounds that are ex-athletes, we just want to make sure we're being super careful and monitoring them as they age. Signs to look out for might include some stiff, creaky joints, lameness, difficulty getting up in the morning or a little bit of stiffness getting up first thing in the morning. And if you notice any of those signs of your dog, it's always worthwhile getting them checked out by your vet. Generally, your dog will live a happy, healthy life. In case you're worried about anything that might be somewhat abnormal for them and need some advice on when to call your vet for help, some of the things I would look out for would include persistent or chronic vomiting or diarrhea, weight loss, increased drinking or urination, coughing or excessive sneezing, bleeding. If any of these things are happening and you need some advice, you can always call your local vet.